car for sale. <laughs> What's that sound? What's Avery gasping? What the heck? Previously on Survivor Stars of Sulani, Supriya was devastated at her attempted blindside at Tribal while Ranbir solidifies a good position on his tribe. Filippo finds the rehidden hidden immunity idol and Ayana takes a driver's seat on her tribe. At the immunity challenge, our survivors had to mix some juice, drink the juice, navigate a maze, and swim to the mat to begin a basketball shooting portion. Hoku breaks their losing streak, and Mahina manages to remain undefeated in a very close call at the challenge. Unfortunately, our happy-go-lucky Lanui takes a loss and will be going to tribal council. Back at camp, Rambir apologizes for his challenge performance while Ayana and Kimiko spearhead Lanui's conversations. At Tribal Council, the vote was a tie between Kimiko and Rambir, with no change at the re-vote which led to our very dreaded tiebreaker. At the rock draw, it was an upset Zario who drew a white rock and became the third person voted out of this game. 15 are left, who will be voted out tonight. Also enjoy the new intro I made. Happy November and thank you for tuning in to my channel today. I'm grateful for you and I hope your day is fantastic as usual. The Lanui tribe returned to camp exhausted besides Layla who is the only one that's hungry it seems. Our castaways hit the hay as there's still much more game to be played. Ranbear wakes up and eats alone. He's probably happy he stayed but probably not at the cost of Zario. Meanwhile, at the Hoku tribe, Harun and Brayden are also up early and hang out near the fire. Wait, who is that? Oh my god, lady, are you really billing me? Welp, there goes more of my budget. Let's see who I can find to help pay with the bills. Uninspiringly decorated. I, I spent hours on this camp, hello? Okay, you, you pay the bills for me, thank you. And no, you will not be compensated. The Hoku tribe seem to be in a good mood today, especially Filippo who has the idol and basically feels safe enough with his tribe members to not give a damn. On Lanui, tension is still in the air as everyone just minds their own business, especially Kimiko here who is freaking naked! Is this a new trend? Oh, it's probably just lag. Ayana and Kimiko have grown super duper close, so these two are ones to watch out for. On the Mahina tribe, Cecilia starts the morning by cracking jokes. Uh, oop, no reaction though. Giselle finally learns that food should be appreciated and not shoved into her face. Also, these four are bonding really closely. Mm, a possible new alliance in the making? Zahara and Giselle are still very much together, but Sergio and Kit surprised me, especially given how they started out. These two are literally inseparable these days. Giselle and Zahara are also trying to approach the adults. Are these two the ones in the middle of this tribe? Mm -hmm. Morale is super high in Hoku as the four are closer than ever. Brayden, boy, you really shouldn't deep throat flaming hot marshmallows, oh god. No challenge can bring them down if they keep this up. On Lanou, it seems as though Avery is still trying to maintain the alliance of four, but with Red Beer instead of Zario. And our castaways hang out before passing out for the night. Dawn strikes the camp as our castaways prepare for our reward challenge today. Layla is. Oh. I, I saw that. Layla finds a pot out of nowhere and makes some soup. This time to Ayana's approval, it seems. And the tribe. Oh Jesus! The the tribe gathers and. <laughs> What's that sound? What's Avery gasping? What the heck? Anyways, uh. Are you freaking kidding me? That's gross. Okay, we'll just move on. Welcome to today's reward challenge where the tribes get a first look at the new Lanui where Zario is missing. And today's reward challenge involves everyone's most hated cupcake machine, some bonfires, a water maze, a grill and some tables, and you guessed it, we're having an eating contest. On my go, two tribe members will swim these waters and then proceed to make a plate of cupcakes. They must then eat four cupcakes each as quick as they can before lighting a bonfire. Wait, hold up. Oh, this can't be happening. 
I think these interns need to be fired. Haha, <laughs> fired, get it? Anyways, the next two members will navigate this water maze, and when they reach the other side, one member will grow some chicken skewers, and the two must eat four servings each, and the first two tribes to finish will win reward. And today's reward is this Hawaiian pizza floaty and these two lounge chairs for the first place tribe. And the second place tribe will get just one of these lounge chairs. Losers go home with nothing. And here are our sit-outs, Sergio, Cecilia, and Layla. And it looks like all our castaways are stationed and ready, so let's just begin the challenge. Everyone makes quick way into the water. This is the easy part. Looks like Mahina has a bit of a lead and everyone's neck and neck as they make cupcakes with this ugly machine. Seriously, who invented these things? Okay, the cupcakes are ready and wait, where are you going? Uh, the, the Sims are doing it again, finding the most inconvenient places to sit and eat. I guess this is our challenge today. Ayana has a short lead and looks like everyone's finished eating. Filippo still hasn't learned how to light a fire and Giselle's taking her own sweet time. No competition for Lanui here as they've already reached the grill while the others just began swimming. Oh my, Brayden and Haruna hustling through these water maze. And Zahara cooks for Mahina while Lanui is already beginning their feast. Is this a miracle? Even Brayden is enjoying his food now, when it's actually time to gorge his food. Everyone looks to be enjoying their food! Oh, yep, there he goes. Zahara and Kit are really slow as they head for seconds while everyone, like Brayden here, is already chowing down on theirs. And before you know it, Branbear and Avery are already on their last plates. The wind is pretty much in the back for them. Woohoo! And Lanui wins a floaty and some chairs. We're looking for second place now, and it's actually kind of close between Hoku and Mahina. Oh, Harun finishes his meal. Waiting on Brayden now. Oh, Zahara cleans her plate too, so, so close. And Brayden swoops up a win for Hoku. It looks miserable after all of that. Lanu has won all this luxury that I'm betting that no one will touch at all. They literally swim around it. Layla seems to be bonding quite nicely within the tribe. Meanwhile, Mahina is in shambles as everyone talks about their first challenge loss. Oh, that's so sweet. You know, I really think that Kid Sergio, Joaquin, and Cecilia have formed an alliance somehow, which puts the girls Giselle and Zahara in great danger if they go to tribal council. Avery spends most of the night talking to his tribe mates Ayana and Ren Beer while Kimiko silently watches him like a creep. And that's a wrap on day 10, the immunity challenge is coming up next. Our sexy hunk Brayden leaves his morning swim just to use the lounge chair they want, I'm so glad. Oh and Kimiko also chills a little on the floaty, my heart is happy. Looks like I got the Mahina tribe hooked on chicken skewers. And the youngsters bond quite nicely, just in time for an immunity challenge. Look at this wooden beauty. That's right, the castaways are playing Don't Wake the Llama today, which is the Sims version of Jenga, essentially. Each tribe will have four members participate, and whoever loses each round will be eliminated. The last two tribes who have people standing will win immunity, or in other words, the first tribe to lose all their members will be sent to tribal council. And it looks like our survivors are pumped and ready to play. We have Cecilia as one of our Mahina tribe sit-outs. Oh, and Giselle too. And Kimiko for Lanui. Alright, if we're all ready, let's not waste time and begin the challenge. Our first round consists of Ranbir and Supriya, who starts off with some mockery. I don't know why they do this. And, and Kit represents Mahina. These clips will be sped up slightly and cut short because these people take forever to play this game, which is good for like good for them actually. Wow, Kit makes a very confident play. Way to go! Supriya also gets a good one, and Kit's going steady. <laughs> Oof, and alas, Ranbir is eliminated for Lanui. The adults Avery, Joaquin, and Harun go next, and... Oh, look, they look like they're having fun. They probably haven't had this much fun in years with their careers and adulthood. Uh, 
A lot of very confident plays are made, but ooh, looks like Joaquin loses out for Mahina. Brayden joins the girls Ayana and Zahara for a third round. Zahara is literally geeking out and in the zone right now. <laughs> and she gets it grooving. Brayden gets a good one, and so does Ayana. Zahara takes a turn and... Oh, 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 what the actual... What was that? Why'd the whole table explode? Anyway, Hoku is untouched while Mahina only has two members left. We continue the round with Sergio versus Layla versus Filippo. Filippo is killing this while Layla takes a more methodical approach. Layla then does a confident one and... Oof, Sergio flunks it for Mahina, and with that kit is the only one left for Mahina. It's not over till it's over, but Kit goes against his Avery and Supriya next. He's literally putting all of his focus into this challenge. Supriya takes her turn and survives, and Avery goes next. Oh no, Avery loses out on this round, and Lanou is down to 2. If Kit can keep this up, Mahina may just survive. Alrighty, now it's Kit versus ha Harun versus Ayana. Oh, Harun gets a good one. Oh my god, Kit, did you even try that round? Well, that was unsuspenseful. Hoku, your dominance continues as you are safe from Tribal Council again. Again, congratulations. And Lanui looks like you have found your groove as a tribe and no tribal again for you guys either. Enjoy the afternoon off. Unfortunately, Mahina and the Llama doesn't sleep for you tonight for you will be meeting me at Tribal Council where you have to vote somebody out. Take the evening to figure out who that will be. The Hoku tribe was super excited to bag another win, and so was the Lunui tribe. Sergio takes out his aggression for losing by doing sit-ups. And everyone else seems to turn to the pool, oh dear. Joaquin and Sergio talk a little bit, I think these two want to work closely with each other. Everyone gathers and talks near the pool, oh my god. I have no clue who is the target. We have Cecilia and Kit as duos, and Zahara and Giselle. And Joaquin and Sergio? The girls are close, the youngsters are close, but the adults are also loved as well. Everyone is in like two alliances or more, so there's no telling until their votes are read. Looks like Giselle and Kid are sneaking off for some secret strategizing? Is he going? Oh, suspicious. Cecilia does have an idol with her, and she's close enough to Joaquin that she might just use it on him if he's in danger, we'll see. Tribal is near, but there doesn't seem to be like a consensus, so we'll just hop onto Tribal Council for answers. Welcome to Tribal Council, Mahina. I hope you have had an interesting afternoon and your loyalties will be tested tonight here at Tribal Council. Let the vote begin! I have the vote. If anybody has a hidden immunity idol and you would like to play it, now would be the time to do so. Alright, I will now read the vote. First vote, Joaquin. That's one vote, Joaquin. Second vote, Giselle. That's one vote, Joaquin. One vote, Giselle. Next vote, Cecilia. We are tied. One vote each for Joaquin, Giselle, and Cecilia. Moving on. Joaquin. That's two votes Joaquin, one vote Giselle, and Cecilia. Fifth vote, Giselle. We are tied with two votes Joaquin, two votes Giselle, and one vote Cecilia. One vote left. Fourth person voted out of Survivor Stars of Sulani, Giselle. That is three votes, that is enough. You have been eliminated from this game. Ooh, we I guess I expected this, but I also thought she was in a solid enough position among her tribe mates. Let's hope her followers will continue watching the show and not be blowing up production for sending her home. 
As for the five of you, congratulations on staying another day. It's very interesting to see the tribe lines being drawn. Head back to camp, rest well, and I will see you next time. Wowza, Mahina's first tribal council. I honestly didn't know where it was gonna go before tribal, since the alliances are all over the place. But seems like Joaquin, Cecilia, and Kit voted together, solidifying their alliance. Poor Sahara appears to be blindsided and I don't know what Sergio was thinking. Well, more drama hit for them. If you have liked this video, give me that thumbs up and subscribe for more. Take care, stay safe, and I will see you at the next video.